Hello there, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. Uh, thank you for coming to visit me today. I'm going to do a flip through of a little tiny notepad that I made. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you a sneaky peek. And it is from one of my, my March or April journals. And it's something I saw on uh, scrapbooking with me. And I think it's a little booklet that uh, I used a big window from an envelope. And I said, over a cup of tea, I got that out of one of those Tim Holtz pads, and it's perfect. I've got a little piece of lace down here. I've got my cup of tea. Uh, it's got a piece inside that's just a little journal card with another little rub on. Uh, yeah, it was a rub on. I have a few pieces of scrap in here from book page and notebook I've dyed and all that kind of stuff. And then the back here is a pocket, and it's got Dream Big, and it's like a big jar. I made the tag look like it was a pocket. I mean, uh, um, like a mason jar, I guess you could say. And all it was is a tag shape, and I cut that little piece here to put on top of it. I'm trying to remember, I think that was the top of a tag, and oh, I don't know where I got it, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I come up with it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm known to do that <laughs> but I made a vellum pocket you can see behind it you can see the little flowers in that cute I've got this piece here that is a um, gosh I remembered it the other day and now I've done forgot it uh, it's one of those pockets that flips up and I know I've got in in it what I did it was a challenge um, it envelope tag booklet is what it's called and um, yeah I've got little rub ones on up there I've got a, a die cutted the edge here but yeah I thought that was really cute I had to gusset this pocket because this is a fat little booklet I can tell you that all right well there's your sneaky peek for the day and this is a really probably going to be a quick little flip through there's not much to it um i did the construction the other day and this is the actual booklet after i got done with it this is one of the tim holtz die sets uh, i don't know what his that guy's name is but uh this is one of the little tiny um people uh, paper dolls i've got some stamps from another one of his sets here with numbers on it uh, this is a piece of washi up here with two brads. The brads hold it together, and I covered the brad legs with this. So how this works, it was two pieces. It's a two, no, it's three pieces of a leftover file folder. Well, I've got Velcro dots in here that hold it shut. Maybe I can do it that way. And um, I've got this paper from a paper pad, and I liked it because it had lines. And it kind of went with the flavor <laughs> of whatever this is uh, I've got going on here. So you can write in there, take notes. You can flip it over. You've got this on the back side. I figured, well, maybe he is a traveling uh, postal telegrapher. <laughs> is that the word? Oh, my God. I slandered that. Um, but anyway, I've got different little stamps on here. And this is like one of the signs and I cut that out ripped it out and back here is the same situation I do have the the dot over here to the left a little bit because it didn't want to hinder my number there I didn't want to mess with that but I really like this it's got about the Western Railway and some numbers are on there and the hotel yeah it was really cool now when you get on the inside here we have another velcro dot and I've got it to where this was underneath here. It's underneath a belly band. This is actually a belly band. I just don't have anything in it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's the belly band. Okay. So then I've got little pieces and parts here. Um, that's the outer side or the underside of the notepad. And this is the upper side of the notepad. And there's another little pocket that you can slide things into right there. And I just haven't. I need to find something to slide in these pockets. 
but yeah, it's it's cute. It's like um kind of like steampunky. This is what it reminds me of. But yeah, you got all these different little papers in here, tea dye papers that you can write on. And I thought it was really cute. It was just something that was scrap, and I wanted to come up with something interesting to put it together with. And that's all she wrote. Well, I hope you got some ideas from this, and uh, give it a try. I mean, I have the, uh, the construction video previous to this, so run on over there. I'm going to actually attach it at the end, to tell you the truth, so you'll be able to find it easier. But I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, thank you, subscribers and viewers. And bye-bye.